Hey Cancer, it's Suzanne, how are you? Uh, first of all, I want to, you know, let you know that I really appreciate that, um, you know, your understanding with my absence last week. Um, went through a little bit of a scuffle with, uh, <laughs> with the weather and my property and, you know, so it was just something that I needed to take care of. But, you know, I think the, what I will share with you is that, you know, if you, for some reason, are going through uh, any type of difficult time, you know, usually those things happen for a reason, right? Um, that's why I don't dislike the Tower card, okay? And that's why I was laughing <laughs> during the video that I shared with you um, because I know something good was going to come from it and you know surely enough it it has and continues to so you know just know that there's there is light at the end of the tunnel if you are going through something okay all right so let's see what we have for you cancer for the month of May Okay, so we have perseverance. So this is what you or the other person is perhaps doing right now. And this is the lesson. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. Very true. And then down here we have envy. I, so somebody might be envious of you or vice versa. I am the same as everybody but with different challenges and different gifts too. You know, I think that should be added to that card. Okay. All right. Let me see. I am just going to do one thing here. Okay. Yeah, that's better. All right. Just felt like the, the angle was off. Okay. Okay, so we've got perseverance and envy. What could be going on here? All right, so I'm using the Angel Tarot. These cards are real big and easy to see. All right, so this person is basically persevering on a chosen path of some sort, okay? Which is progress for this person. And this person could be, hmm, okay. This person could be possibly envious of somebody that they consider a soulmate or a soulmate coming towards this person or this person pursuing a soulmate. That's kind of what I'm feeling. I'm kind of feeling like this person up here is pursuing a soulmate. And this person could be very envious of it. Eight of Pentacles. So, I mean, this is like pure, <laughs> this is like, you know, throwing a backpack on your back and getting on a plane and going to, you know, wherever, Australia to, you know, to pursue a soulmate. 
Eight of Pentacles is dedicated effort, dedicated work, making it happen. Two of Wands is knowing the path that you want to move towards. Down here, okay, so we have Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles is... You know, I feel like this person is taking a look at what they, you know, the work that they might have put into a connection or a relationship and just feeling like it's almost the feeling of, you know, did I waste my time? But this is this is a strong energy. This envy, envy, grief, <laughs> despair, all of those are, you know, very low vibration energies. And you can feel that. Nobody really wants to be envious of other people. But this might be fresh. This person feels very clear towards the, the person or the direction that they're going in right now. And this person feels envious, but also so there's just a sad energy here. There's like a, like a reminiscent, looking back, nostalgic, nostalgic um, energy here of, you know, what could I have done differently to keep this person? King of Wands. Yeah, you know, I feel like this person Okay, I, I see another element here, okay? I don't know that this person, and I'm sorry, I haven't, I, I don't have a clear, <laughs> a clear idea of who is who right now. Um, I don't feel like this person was very open about pursuing this soulmate. I feel like this person heard about it from somebody else, which made it much more difficult for this person. This person didn't want to hurt this person. And that's, that's unfortunate, right? Because when you do that to somebody, it, when you leave a lot of question marks for somebody, it makes it, it makes it that much more difficult to, to move on from a, you know, a difficult situation. Like, I feel like this person might have been taken by surprise. All right, so we have Eight of Wands here. Yeah, I feel like this person is craving communication or clarification about what is happening here. I feel like this person knows in general, what happened or is happening. But this person has been very quiet about what they're, what they're doing, what they're pursuing, what they're moving towards. Like this person decide, it's like this person decided three months ago that this is what they were going to do, even though they were still with this person. And they never told them. And if this is you, try to get yourself out of this envious energy because that is not serving you if, if, that's, if this is you. If this is you, um, this person is craving communication and, and clarity. You know, if that's the the last gift that you give this person before you move on with the soulmate, that certainly is 
that certain would certainly would be a good thing to do, right? Because ultimately this person feels hurt. And even though it might feel glorious as to what's coming for this person, and even though you might feel, or this person might feel, like this person absolutely deserved to be left like this, and they might, they, you know, but if, if we're talking about trying to do the right thing so you can move on or this person can move on gracefully <laughs> um, or this person can move on gracefully, I should say, um, just talk to them and let them know it's never as bad as you think it's going to be. Whatever, whatever is preventing the communication here from happening about what this is, whatever you, that, you know, you're conjuring up in your head as to how it would go, it, it, won't, it, it won't be that bad. It really won't. If you're afraid of this person falling apart, you know, they might be upset, but they'll, they'll get through it. And communicating with them is only going to help them. And, you know, it'll help you too. Because you don't want to get into an energy of guilt, which could come at some point, or maybe not, you know. But I don't know. Really, really interesting kind of unfortunate scenarios <laughs> this week. <laughs> My God. All right. Let's see what the romance angels say about this. So I feel like this person's moving towards a soulmate and this person is hurt about it. You deserve love. Okay, so yeah, we all do, right? You are lovable. That might be that might be something that you've struggled with, you know, over the course of your life or maybe this person made you feel that you were not lovable. I mean, this scenario could go a lot of different ways. Look at that. Calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So what could possibly be happening here is by this person pursuing somebody that, you know, they feel is a soulmate, brings in a soulmate for this person. I'm so happy that it ended that way because, you know, that's really, you know, if you could look at the whole blueprint of your life, I think a lot of the upset and trials and tribulations that we go through, we wouldn't see it like that because we would see the whole picture. <laughs> but because we don't see the whole picture in the moment, all we all we do is feel, you know, the envy and the hurt and the pain, right? That's how we learn as we and how we grow, right? So so anyway, all right, Cancer, so interesting. I did not call out who is who. Uh, I'm leaving that for you to decide um, for this particular reading. It just did not call out to me this time. All right, so I'll be doing the weekly for next week. And if anybody is looking for personal readings, I respond very quickly. So feel free to reach out. I'm very happy to help you, okay? All right, thanks so much, Cancer. Have a great rest of your week. Bye.